good morning this is Sean and uh, I hope you guys can hear me better than you can see me I got my headphones on and twofold is a little bit noisy out here and um, so I was hoping that uh, some of the atmosphere noise will be canceled talking through my headphones so I just wanted to just touch base with you guys and uh, this kind of a kind of a response video with uh, Dee Dee Love and she was talking about you know I just wanted to just kind of take a, a nugget out of what she was talking about and this is just a call to action of self-care to my ladies okay and I want to kind of pay it forward because uh, shout out to Narob uh, Narob did this a couple of years ago and she did a call to action and it helped me a great deal because even though I don't think I was neglecting myself in one way you know I felt pulled together emotionally I did feel spent and I just did not necessarily take the time always to take the time to take care of myself in ways that I should as a woman you know you know I always make a point to when I step out of the house to look good but there's always room for improvement and I will say when you are a woman of a particular age you know in your 40s and 50s and beyond you got to put a little bit more effort it, you know the I woke up like this really only happens in your teens and maybe your 20s and then when you get a little bit older especially in your 40s and your 50s you, you got to put some effort so that you can look like you woke up like this it takes a lot of look a lot of work to look flawless let's put it that way no one needs to know all the the work and the magic behind the scenes when you step out um, and of course you know um, taking the time for self-care even when you're just at home and I think the pandemic a lot of people at home um, during the forced shutdown and maybe you know many of us who maybe work from home may not always put that extra effort but this is the time where self-care is paramount. Because I do think, like Didi says that, you know, your outer, your outer is a lot of the reflection of your inner. And it can be a reflection of what's going on around you. And for many of us, we have complicated lives. You know, we are the CEOs and the CFOs of our corporation, our family. We're the managers and the stewards and the caretakers and the family planners and the social coordinators. There's a lot on our plates. And if we are taking care of aging parents and family members and still raising kids and God knows that's not easy we put ourselves last when really we should always put ourselves first so if you are feeling spent take the time and it doesn't have to be a lot of money you know, what I'm doing today, I went and worked out. And right now, I'm doing a one mile walk. Now it's 
beautiful out here. And the walking doesn't cost nothing but my time and the shoes that I bought and just getting out and walking. And you wanna know what that does? Pumps the blood, circulates, gets those good feeling hormones going, get your mood right, starts your day off, makes you sweat, gets those toxins out of your pores. I don't wear makeup 99% of the time. Most of the time you see me on camera, I don't have on any makeup, not even foundation. Uh, you'll catch me, I have on lipstick most of the time. I sweat too much, I'm outside too much in this weather. So I just forego makeup altogether, especially in the summer. It's just too much of a chore. I sweat it out too much. And I usually just say, the reason why my skin's so good is that I keep my skin routine basic with good cleansing products. I try to get a good sweat with my workouts and I hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I drink at least 80 ounces of water a day. That's it, that's all. And my workouts make me feel good. I feel better. And that's what keeps me going. But, you know, take the time out. I remember when I was a stay-at-home mom, I wanted to not fall into that slump of having that mommy look. You know that mommy look. That look like you've been home all day and you don't look like you've been out the house. And I didn't think it was a good look. I didn't think my husband wanted to see me like that. I just didn't want to look like I was a, a, a slump. And so I treated being a stay-at-home mom just like any other job. And I got up in the morning before my kids got up. I took my shower. I did my hair. And at the time, I was like, I'm never, I, I had to feel like pulled together for me at the time. Like I had to have a blouse on, no matter what. So, you know, if I had jeans on, I had to wear a blouse. Like I had to have something with a collar. I couldn't wear a t-shirt because that felt too schlumpy. So no matter if I was gonna be going to the store or staying at home all day, I was gonna always look pulled together. And that made me feel better. It made me feel like I was productive. And it didn't make me feel like a slug, but that's just me, you know? I couldn't just be in my pajamas all day, even though I may not be leaving the house and I was gonna be uh, <laughs> watching Blue's Clues with my kids and playing blocks on the floor. I still had to feel pulled together to feel good about myself. So having that routine of getting dressed in the morning and still doing my hair as if I was physically going to work, because I was pulling, I was doing a job. I was raising my children and that's a job. <laughs> Staying at home with your kids all day long is a job. <laughs> so just food for thought. Ladies, you owe it to yourself to put some time into yourself, pour into yourself. You know, you don't have to go to the nail tech to have pretty nails. You know, you can go to Walgreens and get Sally Hansen and buff your nails and file them down nicely and just put some clear nail polish if you don't feel like doing the, the regular nail polish because chip nails are tacky, okay? Don't do that. Just something, okay? Just a little bit at a time. Doesn't take a lot. And just do a little bit and you'll see the improvement and you'll feel good about yourself. So take care of yourself. 
and each other have a great day. Bye!